Here's a look at the Citation 5 rotary test system. In order to do the rotary test on a Citation 5, we have to turn the main battery master on. Notice that we do not have to turn the avionics on, which is different from the Citation Ultra, the newer uh, 500 series aircraft need to have the avionics master turned on to properly do a rotary test. Um, but in the, in the uh, Citation 5, we leave that off and we can go either direction on the rotary test. Um, so I like to go clockwise. And the uh, first thing we notice when we move the rotary test switch from the off position is the test light will illuminate to show that we're in a test mode. So there's the test light, and I placed it in the fire warning position to, to start with. The indication that we're looking for here is just to have two lights operative here to show that uh, if we had a, a potential engine fire, that uh, sensing loop around the engine nacelle is uh, detecting greater than 500 degrees, these lights illuminate, and um, both of those lights are working. So. Uh, we can move on to the next position here, which is the landing gear. When we do the landing gear check, we're going to see all uh, four lights illuminate. The three green plus the red unlocked light. We'll also hear a gear warning horn, and the horn can be silenced. You obviously heard the horn. You can see four lights there. Moving on to the battery temp position. In aircraft that still have a NICAD battery, uh, the battery temp position would um, be used to uh, test the system that measures an overheat in the battery, the uh, battery over temp light on the enunciator and the, uh, the battery temperature gauge in the cockpit. In this aircraft, uh, that system has been removed, so we don't need to check the battery temp. When we go to the stick shaker, the stick shaker will um, cycle the, the angle of attack gauge, and it will also um, have the stick shaker actually sh uh, shake the yoke. So I'm going to move it into that position, you can see that test. I'll do it one more time. I'm turning the, uh, I'm turning it off of that test to uh, show you the angle of attack gauge when I flip it to that position. You'll see that this is the default position with uh, the angle of attack. And it goes all the way to a stalling angle of attack. You can hear the stick shaker, but I'll also show you that it's quite an obvious shaking. That system is working correctly. Next we're going to go to the thrust reverser check. The thrust reverser position will show all six lights for the three lights on each thrust reverser are illuminating correctly and we'll get a master warning that we should be able to cancel. Here's the six lights. We see the arm, the unlock, and the deploy lights, all illuminating. The master switch is, or I should say the master warning is able to be reset. And we can move on to the next position, which is the windshield temperature um, check. In this aircraft, the Citation 5, when we go up to the to the uh, windshield temp check, it is tied to the windshield air overheat position on the or enunciator, where if the uh, windshield bleed air switch is turned to either high or low, either position will turn the windshield air overheat enunciator on. So we turn it down to low. You can see the windshield air overheat enunciator comes on back to off. Now I'm moving the switch up to the high position. 
we see it illuminates again. The enunciator illuminates back to off. I'm going to show you which switch I was turning on and off here. It's windshield bleed air on low. The middle position is off. Windshield bleed air high. And then back to off. That's the switch I'm testing. The next is an overspeed test. That's just checking to make sure that the overspeed horn will sound if uh, the airspeed indicator detects an overspeed. We can hear that, no problem. Now we're going to go to the anti-skid test. So the anti-skid test illuminates this enunciator light up here on the enunciator panel. This is a uh, in a Citation 5, which it's wired a little bit different than a Citation Ultra, where the Citation 5 will leave this light illuminated until uh, we move the switch off of the anti-skid test position, at which point within about, I believe it's three to five seconds, that light should extinguish. So I'm gonna move this rotary test switch off the, off the anti-skid position and we'll see within a few seconds there that anti-skid and op enunciator light extinguishes. That checks normal, that's what we should be seeing. So if we didn't see the anti-skid and op light come on at all, that would be a problem. Or if we saw it come on and we could not get it to extinguish, that would also be a problem. And uh, the last check on the rotary test is the enunciator position. With the enunciator position, reach my hand around this angle here, there we go. With the enunciator position, it's going to set off a master warning. We can see all of the lights uh, on the enunciator panel are illuminated. We can see snake eyes, they call it, the, uh, the, the uh, N2 overspeed lights there are illuminated. We see the master warning on the other side of the cockpit also going off. And uh, when we reset, or when we try to reset the master warning, nothing happens. That's not a cancelable warning. The uh, last thing I want to show now is uh, a slight difference if we have the avionics on with the enunciator test versus avionics on. Alright, now we've got everything powered up with the avionics on. I'm going to go back to the enunciator position on the rotary test. There's that master warning that we can't cancel. And I want to point out that down here on the center pedestal, the lights for the autopilot uh, will, uh, will all illuminate and they will all be able to be tested with the uh, enunciator position check. Now notice if I turn the avionics off, even though I'm still in the enunciator position on the rotary test, those lights uh, connected to the autopilot extinguished when I turned the avionics off. So that's a, an important piece of knowledge. If you need to check those lights for any reason to make sure that it's not a burned out light bulb that is uh, giving an issue with the autopilot, the avionics have to be on.